ended up in the Louvre in the early 1800s. But as you can see here in this painting from 1833 by Samuel Morse, the Mona Lisa is just one of a ton of paintings. Absolutely nothing special about it. Nothing like today, at least. So what happened, you might be wondering? Well, in 1911, a guy named Vincenzo stole it, and he brought it all the way to Florence. Him stealing it landed the Mona Lisa on every newspaper around the world. When they eventually found it, it was a huge celebration. These stories are, in large part, what differentiates the Mona Lisa from a lot of other great works, including those by da Vinci. People have also attacked the Mona Lisa over the last century plus with everything from acid to rocks to cake. I mean, it's crazy. But as we know with the Mona Lisa, all press is good press. And that just drove more awareness over time. Now there's two other questions to talk about. What it's worth as a business? How many tickets does it drive annually? And is that even the real Mona Lisa being displayed publicly? Well, we're gonna have to wait for another video to talk about those, so follow for more.